Guys, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Arcway, home of menswear and styling. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys my entire collection of shoes for 2023. So if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys do yourself a favor by subscribing down below. Hit the thumbs up so it boosts the algorithm. At the same time, make sure to drop a comment on what is your favorite pair of shoes. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Arcway, home of menswear and styling. My name is Tulu, your fashion consultant. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys my entire collection of shoes. So the first pair I have right here are Converse. Let's check them out. I got these in the browns. Can't say enough about this, but I really like this colorway. I like the brown tone of this look. I like the traditional logo and emblem right there. These shoes are just nice, they're sturdy. I got these in a size 12. I'm kind of debating if I should have got a size 11 or 11 and a half. Typically I wear 12s, but you know how Converse do. Sometimes they fit a little snugger than usual, so I did go up a size on these. But I got these in a size 12s. I am a size 12, so personally, I do feel like they fit me quite well. Um, I can't complain, but these are just sturdy, man. If you guys know, then you know. If you don't have a pair of Converse, I highly recommend you guys to grab a pair. But I got these in the dark browns here. Um, and I really like the colorway. It's really nice to match up with a pair of shoes. And this is probably the most times you guys will see me with colorful shoes. I'm playing, man, I'm playing. I'm definitely gonna have a lot more shoes in the studio, especially when it comes down to more colors and stuff. But these are just a nice subtle color. These are the high tops. So I got these off of Sense for 82 bucks. It's a good deal for high top sneakers. I like Sense a lot because you can pick up a lot of luxury brands from there. I do enjoy shopping off of Sense personally because there's so much you can actually buy that you can't buy in retailers. These are just some heavyweight Converse. Really enjoy the colorway. Can't wait to style these. And yeah, so that's what I got. So another pair of Converse I picked up for the spring are these ones right here. And these are in the mochas. As you guys can see, a lot more different than the other ones. These are just a lighter version of what you saw before. Uh, same thing, just in the bobs of it all, the details, uh, which I really do like and appreciate of these sneakers. But I like these light mocha ones as well. So uh, if I don't wear one, I'll probably wear it for next season, but I had to pick up both pairs. These just look so fire in general. So there's so many ways you can style these and it has a nice look to it. I really like it. In terms of sizing, in terms of sizing, I'm still debating because I had the CDGs and I actually got them in 11 and it took me forever to break them in, but uh, I got these in a 12. So they are a little bit looser. That's the only downfall, but with a thicker sock instead of an ankle sock, I think it'll just fill up a lot more better. So yeah, so I like these shoes and yeah, these are just another Converse shoe that's gonna be a part of the family now. So I did buy them at the same price as the other darker mocha ones off of Sense for 85 bucks as well. So yeah, easy cop. These pair right here are quite interesting. I think these ones are actually sick because um, first of all, let me just show you what they look like because they're nuts. And these ones for my spring collection or my entire collection of sneakers for the year are the high tops. So these ones are actually super sick. I like these a lot, man, because they kind of give you this like high top feel. They almost looks like a, like a woman's high top style, but Either or, you, a guy can wear these as well. So these are actually in 12.5. Uh, so I'm looking at it right here, it says gender, woman, but at the end of the day, sneakers are sneakers, anyone can rock them, but they kind of remind me of um, like a Rick Owens type of style. You know how he, Rick Owens has that high top boot, but uh, I didn't know these are even women's. That's kind of that's kind of cool. It's interesting to compare the men's to the women's Converse because the men's Converse a lot more thinner on the sole here. Um, this one's a lot more thicker and it's a lot more bigger. So there's a lot more long-term longevity to this. So I beg to differ to get my shoes from the women's collection. But uh, yeah, so this is actually quite sick. It has this Rick Owens look to it, as you guys can see right here. All around the shoe is just fire. Even if you look at the gum soles of the shoe, they look completely different. Like the white ones here are a lot more bigger than the mochas. Like the mochas aren't even that big on the sole, but on these ones, like, golly, these really show, man. Woo, snap. So I got these on sale for 65 bucks. That's dope. That's a sick pickup. I can definitely see myself wearing them with some like slim black pair of pants 
or like ripped up pair of pants on my you know on my rockstar vibes so yeah i'm definitely gonna be styling this for you guys this is probably my favorite shoe so far so my next two pairs right here are one of my top favorites you guys have seen me talk about this product many many times and i know how fire they are and i can't wait just to show you right now so boom right here these are the solomon's xt6s we finally got them crew we got the solomon's xt6s and i can't wait to style these but i got these in the blacks right here as you guys can see and online i got them for about a hundred and no no online i bought them for about 230 online and i mentioned this before about years ago these things were going to catch wind and these things are going to be fire and i'm glad i'm catching the wave now because i pre my projection was quite clear i typically don't wear a lot of black shoes but when it comes down to these sneakers this is something i can definitely see myself wearing a lot more i do work in the barber shop as a barber and you guys can check out my barber haircut but other than that i wear black in the studio so these just go in sequence with what I'm doing at work so I can wear them on a job I can wear them um, when I'm going out to style as well so yeah these these are fire let me know if you guys have experiences with the Solomon XT6s before and let me know what colorway you guys have grabbed these look so fresh on the feet and just the way they look all together is just it's phenomenal man really like them I'm pleased with this item I'm pleased with the look of it um, the design Cool thing about this is this feature right here. It kind of has this like zip line feature where you can just click the button and it kind of draws to your foot there. So that's sick. So I got those. Here's the pair I actually haven't worn yet. So I'm excited to wear these ones. These are the same ones, Solomon XT6s in the whites. And these are nuts. These look bananas, man. I, I can't tell you, I can't tell you enough, man. These look crazy. Um, the cool thing about these are that they're meant for long-term hiking trails or kind of like trail runs as well or whether like long-term marathons uh, that's what initially they were designed for coming out of France uh, France always has some beautiful products out there I noticed that with their garments their apparel their footwear and uh, yeah these are just these are it for sure so I bought them at the same price 230 bucks um get them while you can these are always in a limited edition so i got the text message um that they had them in stock so i copped it and i did get a size i got size 12 in these i did try these on downtown and i wasn't sure on the sizing at the time so i had to figure out if i was going to cop it or not but i did get them in the size 12. yeah they do fit true to size they are super super comfortable i can't tell anything more about these shoes that they're the ones they're just the ones so next pickup i have right here is from sense and this is rude so when it comes down to Rigi's company rude i got some loafers and they are fire like i fire bro so check them out first of all let me just talk about the packaging packaging is phenomenal luxury brand right here you can just see the packaging boom so this is like the hardest cardboard i ever seen um it's truly phenomenal Let's open this up boom as you guys can see right here underneath it comes with a dust bag in that dust bag you got some rude packaging right here with a little bit of branding look how look how i'm opening this this is this is amazing and and in every individual pack you got the pair of loafers so these are the white pair of loafers i got from rude off of sense and these right here were a pretty penny i'll tell you that these were arm and leg that's what i like about like high-end brands they really take care of the clients really take care of the products and it really shows so you know i'm going to be taking care of these so i got these penny loafers in the whites and these cost me about 380 bucks yeah it's probably the most expensive shoe i have next to the solomon's yet again i like them a lot these aren't my everyday type of shoes in general so i had to buy them so i had to add these to my collection long term and this is a long-term buy for me this is a long-term cop and i can see myself wearing these every summer so 
a little more breakdown of these pair of shoes. They are made in Italy. I got these in a size 12, and that was just the luck of the draw. I was hoping they'll fit, and they fit perfectly for a size 12. Probably the sickest pair of white penny loafers I ever purchased. Well, the only purchase I ever made of penny loafers, but visually, I've seen in person. Yeah, these are phenomenal, man. Can't wait to style these. Can't wait to see what I can do with these during the summertime. And stay tuned for this one for sure. For, so the next pair of shoes I picked up are these penny loafers. And these are from, from yeah, Sibago. These are in the black and whites. These are made in Mexico. And these are actually in a size 12. So I got these for the first time. Didn't know anything about the company. Kind of looked it up. Saw the design of it. I thought it was sick. Present you guys pretty much with my first ever penny loafer in a black and white rendition. So what inspired me to get this, well, to be honest with you guys, was uh, Ame Leon Door, man. I was trying to cop a pair of penny loafers from them specifically, but they're always out of stock. So I was trying to find alternatives. I'm really good at finding alternatives online. I, I don't know what it is, but I'm really good at finding alternatives. So I found this alternative and this was something that I felt like was really nice. I like the company history genuine leather all around. I like the sole of the gum as well. It's pretty thick and pretty dense. This is just an amazing black and white loafer, man. Okay, cool. So I bought these off of Sense for $230. Yet again, guys, these are an investment. So if you guys are looking for penny loafers for the long term, yeah, definitely invest into a pair and these are the ones I recommend. They were on sale as well, so I had to cop them. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to style these. I can't wait to style to see what I can come up with. Actually, this is a big risk for me. So not much of a risk to be honest, but I just feel like out of my hemisphere of what I typically wear, this is will just kickstart it into a new level. So that's how you actually get better at styling. You literally buy new things. You buy new different, you buy different pieces, different garments, different textures, and you kind of just work with it. You kind of form into it over time. So I took the plunge on these and i'm happy i did these are actually in the size 11.5 i was quite nervous about buying these because i was like yeah i don't know if i can fit them but for some reason it is fit like a glove and plus if i put a little bit of a no-show sock in there it works out perfectly so this is actually a new experience for me because this is my first time buying a pair of clarks and i got the classic wallabies so if you know you know especially in new york a lot of a lot of people be wearing the clarks out there so i had to cop them had to see what the hype was about so i got these in traditional wallaby colors shout out to everyone in queens manhattan brooklyn you know even for music you just see people wearing these shoes all the time so these are the classic wallabies i got these in a size 12. Uh, for me this is new the one thing I really was inspired about these shoes was my favorite rapper Nas was wearing them and even when it came down to um, a Japanese brand called Vism I'm pretty sure they had some inspirations behind this but Vism had a sneaker Vism has a sneaker that Kanye wore back in the day and it had like tassels and stuff it had this Native American inspiration towards it but just seeing these in in the wallabies as well I had to cop them and I'm excited I did. These actually go for $170. So yeah, I got these in a size 12. I'll say they fit true to size. Obviously with a good sock in there as well, it'll fill up a lot more. Let me know if you guys actually purchased Clarks before. One thing I wanna know is how to take care of the suede. I don't know if you guys have any products you guys can recommend me, but I wanna keep, I wanna keep the suede as clean as possible. And so I'll have solutions, I'll have videos based on you guys' recommendations of what I should try. But suede products is very, very important to maintain. So yeah, try to keep, I'm trying to keep these clean as possible. But um, yeah, these are the Clark's Originals. I really like them a lot. They got two different laces sets here. You got the traditional, the burgundy brown, and then they got the blue laces as well. So I'm gonna show you guys how I style this as well. Um, these are actually really sick. I'm excited to wear these. And I got these ones, I believe I got them in the same size. I got them in a size 12. These are the wider frame Clarks, and I bought them for, let me check out the price. I got them for 125, so these were on sale as well. And these ones are dope. Like they kind of remind me of the Converse, how they have that big gum to it. But to me, these are just fire. I like how they look. 
Um, I like how the gum is, man. It, it, it kind of feels like they will last a lot longer, but these are just phenomenal pairs of shoes. They completely look different than any pair of shoes that I ever purchased before. That's the one thing I like about sneakers. I always like finding something that's a little bit different than the rest. So these ones are it for me. Look to it, as you guys can see, it has this like nice off-white look to it. I think they're beautiful, man. I think these shoes are just beautiful. The way they look, the way they feel, and I'm excited to style these. Can't wait to show you guys what they look like, how they feel on the foot, and give you guys my perspective on if you guys should be investing in Clarks or not. But I can tell you off the bat, yeah, these are gonna be fire. So next pair of shoes I have here are Blunt Stones from Australia. This is my first time actually ever buying these. I was teeter-tiring between looking for a boot for the spring, at the same time looking for a winter boot. So I was kind of in the mix. I always try to went back and forth with finding like, like solar, Sorel, I was actually kind of teetering between Sorel and like some North Face boots, but Sorel was just a lot more chunkier for me. I didn't want that style of a boot, but I can tell you for a fact, these ones right here are nuts. Like I, I went into the shout to Lisa because I went into the store looking for, I was looking for a Converse shoe cleaner for my canvases on my white shoes, but I ended up walking out with these boots. So first of all, let me just break it down. These shoes are amazing because one, they look so minimalistic and sleek. That's a that's a check mark for me right there. Um, the next thing I like about this is that they have a two part insole. As you guys can see, as I take it out, it has one insole right here and obviously in the other pair. But what this is, is a winter insole. So especially when it comes into fall and winter, when it gets a little more chillier, this will actually keep your foot warm. And I've tried this on even in store and I was toasty. I was toasty, man, I was cooking. Cooking boy, cooking. So yeah, so that was that was that man. That was that. I was like, yo, first of all, that's a phenomenal aspect on his shoe. And then they have the, the traditional pair, which is just the traditional kind of like insole for any type of shoe. So it's a little more, a lot more thinner. This is like your everyday insole. So you can change the insoles out pretty much per season. And the great thing about these shoes is that they're water resistant. Hold on, hold on, hold on and waterproof yes we finally found a pair crew so the price point for this boot was 290 dollars so definitely pick yourself up this boot because this is an all year round boot and you won't need any other boot how many times can i say boot when it comes down to boots and winter gear you would not need any other boots after this this is this is it this is where it begins and ends for the fall and winter season so i'm happy i found me found a pair that can do me justice during those times yeah and yet again shout out to lisa she helped me out and uh yeah i'll definitely be coming back to pick up more pairs of shoes so crew that concludes the end of the video here I'm happy I showed you guys my whole collection for 2023 regarding my footwear. And if you guys are looking for any other content down below in terms of styling these pair of shoes, check out the description box. Make sure to drop a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this video. At the same time, give this video a big thumbs up so it can be shared with more people and more people can get styled and hit the algorithm. And I'll see you guys in the next video. My name is Tulu, your fashion consultant. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.